Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about data types in C programming language. In our previous video, we discussed about compilation process and steps involved in the compilation process. I have mentioned the link in the description. If you want to watch it, please watch it. So now we can understand what is data type. Basically, data types are the type of data stored in a C program. A data type informs compiler about how much memory a declared variable required to store. Data types are used extensively for declaring variables and functions of different types. In general terms, a data type is an attribute that tells a computer how to interpret the value. Basis of the type of variable present in a program, we determine the space that it occupies in storage along with the way in which the stored bit pattern will be interpreted. We can understand with one example more detail about data type. We may want to utilize some numbers such as like 5, 7, 8, 10, 500 or maybe a decimal point number such as like 4.5 or 7.8, maybe a text such as coffee, tea or cappuccino. Then the compiler used in C language would handle all of this very differently. For that, we use different data types for defining what data types we want in the program. That is the purpose we need a data type. First, we can understand types of data types in C language. Basically, we can divide as three. One is primary data type or built-in data type and derived data type and user-defined data type. Basically, of primary or built-in data type are integer, character, float and double. In under derived data type, arrays, pointers, functions. Under user defined data type, we can consider in a way structure, union and enumeration. In the upcoming videos, we will detailly discuss about each and every data type with sample C programs. But in this video, we are going to discuss about data modifiers and what all are the storage sizes of each data type. First, we can understand data type modifiers in C. There are basically four types of modifiers for all data types used in C language. So why we need a data type modifier and what is the meaning? For an example, we can take with some example. If we say that there is a chocolate bar on the table, the person we are speaking to will know that a chocolate bar is present on the table. But if we are get more specific and say that there is a dark chocolate bar, on the table or milk chocolate bar on the table it will become more much more clear and specific to the person who is listening in a very similar manner the modifiers in c language help in making the primary or primitive data types much more specific so we have a four type of modifiers one is short long unsigned and signed keep these all are the points in your mind when we are going to type a more program in the upcoming videos then you will come to know that where we need to use all these data type modifiers now here we can understand about primary data type range for an example integer and character you can see i have just made a table and this table i made it based on 32 bit compiler so for an example the size will vary based on the bit of compiler so always better to check it what is the size of your compiler but these days everything is coming with the 32 bit compiler but better to check always you can see character is a data type and format specifier is percentage c so the format specifier is made Mainly used to read the data type and to display the variable or to read the variable to mention the data type and range is my uh, minus 128 to and plus 127 so size in bytes is one byte basically character is a one byte but there is two difference one is sign integer sorry sign character another one is unsigned character so unsigned character always start from zero to 255 everything in the positive side or positive sign but sign character will start from minus 128 to 127 range but totally everything is in one bytes hope you are about it one byte equal to eight bits now we can see about the integer data type in integer we have many data types for an example short integer so it has two bytes unsigned short integer it has two bytes unsigned integer it has four bytes integer Four bytes so these all are the data types and size in bytes will be very based on your uh, compiler uh, size okay that's you have to keep always in your mind and long integer has four bytes unsigned long integer four bytes long long integer eight bytes unsigned long long integer eight bytes so based on the needs or based on the application you can always choose the data type 
and data type range for float for an example for float it's 4 bytes and double it's 8 bytes and long double it's 12 bytes so in this video we discussed about primary data type range and void also one of the primary data type we have seen it but void is actually only used to mention for the pointers so you can consider like it's nothing okay so in this video we discussed about the basic data types and size of data types hope this will be more useful for you so thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more programming language content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day